Hi guys, Swans away this year, back again for another video and back again for our match preview. Swansea City are taking on Sheffield Wednesday at home midweek against Sheffield Wednesday on a Wednesday at quarter to eight kickoff. Now I'm recording this at two o'clock today as you see in the video and it's absolutely dark so I've had to put my phone on for a bit of lighting and as you can see without the phone I am very dark so you know you could tell it's winter now guys and I'm loving the fixture schedule. It's Christmas coming up and there's a lot of championship games which means a lot of content, a lot of match previews, a lot of watch songs and of course a lot of FIFA videos. So if you are new to the channel please subscribe, like and comment and let's get into it. So Swansea City are currently fourth for the championship with 22 points a very strong performance Saturday against Rotherham United where we should have scored a lot more but a 1-0 win against any side in the championship is a very strong result for our opponent Sheffield Wednesday they're currently 23rd in the championship with 6 points obviously they did have a minus 12 points reduction at the start of the season but that did get reduced a few weeks ago to minus 6 so if they didn't have that minus uh, 6 points plus or added on then they would be on zero points so it's a big bonus for Sheffield Wednesday to get that minus 12 ticket to the minus 6 otherwise I think they would have been gone as so they got a good chance of surviving this season now and obviously they've appointed Tony Pulis as their new manager uh, his first result Saturday was a loss to Preston North End but he wasn't helped with Josh Windass getting sent off in the 17th minute so they couldn't really go on for the win or couldn't really do anything really as Preston were just pushing more and more men forward and uh, luckily for Preston they got the result but Tony Pulis won his first win as Sheffield Wednesday manager and what better than beating Welsh side Swansea City. So Swansea City are on a fantastic form at the minute. We've only lost one game in seven. That came to the top of the table, Norwich City, where we only lost 1-0 and probably deserve more of that game. We've had three home wins in a row and three clean sheets in a row at home. So our home from the stand are really turning around now, which is really good. And now a few months back, you know, when we when we lost to well, when we drew to Birmingham actually, and you know, we were failing to pick up wins against Huddersfield. We're all thinking, oh, here we go, the home form against Costas. But since that Blackburn game, since that Stoke game, we've turned their own three home clean sheets in a row is absolutely crucial at this level you've got to win your home games you've got to pick up the points away from home which is what we've been doing Sheffield Wednesday is the total opposite they've only had one win in the last seven games so they've been on an awful form recently they haven't won away in three games so you know away from home they're pretty poor as well and like I said Tony Close is the new manager so you know they, they don't play the best style of football they didn't play the best style of football under Gary Monk so they, they'll be used to crap football under Poulos but the thing with Tony Poulos is he gets results and that's the crucial thing in the championship he done it with Middlesbrough got him into the playoffs I believe and they lost to Aston Villa uh, he's done it with West Brom in the Premier League I think he did it at Stoke as well so you know he's kept clubs up in the Premier League but his football is very annoying but there's no fans on the ground so you know Pulis will love it no fans so people won't be moaning inside the ground so I do like Tony Pulis obviously he's a Welsh lad as well I do like Welsh managers so it will be good to see another two Welsh managers on show tomorrow like I was saying, our win was a 1-0 win against Rotherham where we played very, very well. That first half especially was one of the best half performances again I've seen this season. You know, we should have been 2-3-0 up. Liam Cullen had a great header saved by Jamal Blackman. Uh, Connor Robson did exceptionally well to keep the ball in under Jamal Blackman's legs and Jamal Lowe basically missed an open goal. Second half then, Rotherham really had their impact on the game. The game became slow, statured and, you know, it... It became Rotherham's game, really. It was scruffy. It was a lot of long balls, not much passing. And, you know, when we made a few substitutions, like bringing on Casey Palm, bringing on Wayne Routledge, it did kind of help stop the rhythm of the game and, you know, it stopped Rotherham getting chances. They only had, like, one big chance, I'd say, and that was a cross which came one man held in and dropped on the line. So that was a big, nervy moment for me. But overall, we did deserve the three points. Even their manager, Paul Warren, said we deserved the three points. So it was great credit to Paul Warren for being honest. And, you know... Another day we probably would have drew that. I think last season we wouldn't have picked up those three points. So it was really good from the boys to pick up the three points. Sheffield Wednesday won their loss to Preston. Like I was saying, it wasn't their best performance of the season. They played a 4-5-1. So again, very negative football from Tony Pulis. But I think they will start pick up results. You know, Hopefully it doesn't start today. Hopefully it starts on the weekend for Sheffield Wednesday. But if they're such a big club. You know, They should not be in the position they are. And you know, for... The old fans who watch my channel, they'll realise how massive Sheffield wins they are. And for the people who, you know, are between 10 and 15 probably who watch my channel, they'll just be thinking Sheffield Wednesday is quite a small club. I know Hillsborough is a massive ground. I believe it's the biggest in the championship as well. I've been there a few times. And on this day, the atmosphere is incredible. It's such a big club. And it's a shame to see them do so bad in the championship. A Sheffield Wednesday fan on Punk Chef 41. Big appreciation to him. I haven't had an opposition fan in the last two games, but thanks to Jake, he's not let me down. I've actually got a Sheffield Wednesday fan on. So you'll know a 
lot more about Sheffield Wednesday than me, so here's what Sheik's got to say about tomorrow's game against Swansea City. Hi, Rich, mate. So I think in this game it can be interesting for us because we're trying to get that new manager bounce with Tony Pulis just coming in with a sacking Gary Monk. Would have been interesting for Monk to come to Swansea and see some of the people because he's probably still got a lot of friends there. Now, we at the weekend did not have a good result against Preston. They hadn't won a, a game at home all season. Rolling Sheffield went through that curse suddenly get broken. And we are now our fourth red card of the season with Josh Winder, which is a shame because he's been starting to look good at times. But now we've got another suspension. So I think this game will be a scrappy affair if, for me, I want it to be a scrappy affair and I want us to nick it. But personally, you could end up absolutely battling us if we don't turn up. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. So you asked me for my three favourite players. Barry Bannon, magician in midfield. Matt Longo, who's just started to be a really good defensive midfielder. Just you, you praise him when he's not there, if that makes sense. He does all that dirty work and people are like, oh yeah, he played it. He did a really good job. And the other one, Dominic Ayorfa, he's just a beast in that uh, heart of defence and he does really well for us. Good luck for the game and may the best team win. Uh, thanks, Jay, for coming on. Like I said, guys, please subscribe to him. He's a really good content creator and he's on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I've been there before and hitting 1,000 subscribers is one of the best feelings in the world. So get Jake to 1,000 subscribers and thanks for coming on, pal. Well, guys, it was three of you who had their score predictions right against Rotherham. So congratulations to you three. I'm a bit annoyed because I did say 0 0. Actually, I'd rather just win, but I was kind of close to win 0 0. But anyway, shout out to Tom65 who said a 1 0 Swansea, Swansea underscore talk who said a 1 0 Swansea, and Crazy Skills who always seems to get the score prediction right on this channel. Who also said a 1 0 Swansea. So, congratulations to you, three lads. If you want to shout in Saturday's match preview against Nottingham Forest and get your score predictions in, and if it's correct, you will be shouting in Saturday's video. Yes, it is a Sunday game, it's on Sky Sports Sunday, and you know what that means. Mr. Door. Looking forward to that game, guys, but we've got to get past Sheffield Wednesday first. So, team news. I believe Victor Yorkeres and John Gark are still self isolating from COVID 19 positive tests. Mark Gee, Andre, question marks over their fitness. I, again, I don't think there'll be risk for this game. I don't think they'll be fit enough. Gibbs White and George Byers are out. So we've got six absentees, which is a big blow. Sheffield Wednesday have a few absentees as well, but I couldn't really find their names. I had a look at football, but it just said five absentees and it wouldn't say their names. So Sheffield Wednesday are missing a few players, but I do know one player who will definitely be missing this game. That's Josh Windas after getting sent off against Presser North End. What is my score prediction? Now, on this channel, we all know what a positive result means. It's a negative. Against Huddersfield, a positive result, lost. When I predict the negative result, roll from, we win. If I predict the draw, it usually happens at a draw. Brentford, for example. So, you know, I don't really believe in jinxing or cursing, but it's just very weird that every time I predict a positive result, we lose. And I'm going to predict a positive result. So if we do lose, come to my channel, dislike the video, and blame me. I, it's fine. But I'm going to go for a 1 0 Swansea win. I think it'll be a very tight game, to be honest with you guys. I think we're going to nick it in the last 10 minutes. I think Sheffield Wednesday will park the bus, try to hit us on the counter attack, and try to hit us from set pieces and try to hurt us. Remember, defending set pieces, we're usually good. I've said that, now we're going to lose to a set piece. But I'm going to go for a 1 0 Swansea win. And who am I back in the score? I'm going to go for Jamal Lowe. I think Jamal Lowe's going to get back on the score. She's going to be high in confidence because the boy deserves a goal. You know, he's been working really hard recently. He's missed a lot of good chances. And I think it's time for Jamal to score. I'm going on to my team news, I have already predicted one player that scores so he's in my starting lineup. but I'm actually going to go unchanged from the team which will be Sheffield Wednesday so that team's going to be Freddie Woodman Connor Roberts Ben Cabango Kyle Norton Ryan Bennett Jake Bidwell Mark Grimes Jay Fulton Ian Danda Jamal Lowe and Liam Cullen obviously I think Liam Cullen's got to start this game we've got no other options because Victor Yorker is self-isolating um, another choice I've seen some say is possibly Ryan Manning for Jake Bidwell now I wouldn't be against that but I think Jake Bidwell's a better player than Ryan Manning and Sheffield Wednesday are no hard opponents no easy opponents, I should say. They are hard. They are quite uh, hard. They're quite a physical team as well. So thanks, guys, for watching. Please hit like button, comment, subscribe. Let me know your score predictions in the comment section to be with a shout-out of Saturday's video. Obviously, FIFA vid will be up Thursday. Match watch on tomorrow, which will start at 35 past 7. It is on Sky Sports, but obviously this channel is better than Sky Sports. So if you can support me, it would be appreciated. Great support on Saturday's video. Thanks to people who donate and, uh, you know, like and comment and interact in the stream. It makes the stream a lot better. I do like doing these watch dogs. So it's a great interaction, guys, and the reactions are absolutely superb so thanks guys for watching thanks to jake for coming on the channel and i'll see you guys tomorrow for the watch on 35 past seven set an alarm come on the swans